welcome along everyone to the call to prayer here at the People's Church, Newton Abbey. It's good to be together tonight again on this Monday evening. We need to be together because we need to be praying these days. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. And that's what we're going to be doing this evening. That's our intention. That's the point of us putting this online tonight, calling us all together wherever we are to pray. And you know what's really encouraging? People are telling us they're praying more than ever through the call to prayer. People are engaging. People are praying. They're actually praying and engaging and entering into prayer. And it's wonderful to know that. That is where the power lies. That's where the potential is. What a privilege it is to be back again. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're, we've got much to pray for. We have a list of real needs this evening. And we're going to bring them to the Lord in just a few minutes time. We're also going to thank the Lord as well for his goodness his mercy over the weekend. We thank him for yesterday, for the time we had here in the morning at the People's Church, Newton Abbey. It was so wonderful to see so many people coming in the name of the Lord. And it was great to have with us yesterday just Jonathan, his wife, Unique, and little baby Charles as they were dedicating little baby Charles to the Lord and all the families together there gathering in the name of the Lord to witness that dedication and it was something to behold something to rejoice over and it was wonderful to have the families with us as well you know it was a day of rejoicing yesterday and we heard a lovely message yesterday morning about the hands of Jesus the hands of Jesus that tell us so much about him, that he cares, that he cares for us, that he provides, that he's proven his love, that he protects. The hands of Jesus say so much about him. And we were just taking that on board yesterday. A lot of people were touched yesterday morning. People said to me on the way out, that message was for me. That message meant something for me. In fact, people said to me on the way out yesterday, how did Pastor George know my need? How did he know what I was going through? And you know, it was the Lord. The Lord knows. And he channels his word. If you haven't heard that beautiful message yesterday morning on the hands of Jesus, you need to take it on board and you can get it on our YouTube channel through Instagram as well and also on our Facebook social media page. And then last night we were together for the gospel outreach. And we, we just brought a message last night that was on our heart about being lift up your head, letting the Lord lift us. We really need that to happen these days. We really need that to take place. There's a lot that can lay us low. There's a lot that can cast us down. But the Lord Jesus said in this day and at this time, we have got to lift up our heads. And we had that message there last night, be lifted up, lift up your head. And we saw the reasons for doing that. Again, you can watch that, listen to that. Also share those messages in the name of the Lord. But we're coming to pray tonight and we're going to get down to prayer. I'm going to read you out the names on our list in just a few moments time. But beforehand, I want to read a short passage to you just to encourage you to pray. And how the Lord sees you tonight. And how he knows you. But he sees you in the place of prayer. But listen to 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse number 1. And here's what Peter says here. 1 Peter 5 and verse number 1. The elders who are among you I exhort. I who am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that will be 
revealed. And here's what he says. Shepherd the flock of God, which is among you. Shepherd them. Lead them. Serving as overseers. Notice that. Serving. Christian leaders are servants. That's the essence of their existence, to serve as overseers. They've got to see things as well. They need tremendous discernment. Pray for Christian leaders tonight too. Not by compulsion, Peter says, but willingly. Not for dishonest gain, but eagerly. We're not in it for what we can get out of it. We're in it for the difference we can make, what we can give. And that's the crucial thing. Nor is being lords over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And you know, that's a wonderful challenge there. A, a glorious thing right there. Being examples. That's the call that's upon every Christian leader in our land, in our nation, and across the globe. Examples to the flock. Oh, help us to be that. Help us to be that. You pray that we'll be that. Very, very importantly. It's a wonderful challenge. And here's what it says in relation to it. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Likewise, you younger people, listen to this now. You younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility for God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And, and notice, notice what Peter is emphasizing there about submission. You know, submission and being submissive is a crucial part of the Christian life. It marks our humility. It marks our obedience. It's very, very important. Peter says, yes, you all be submissive to one another because God resists the pride but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. And then he says this great verse, casting all your care upon him, because he cares for you. Listen to it again. You know it well. So do I. But there's a need to read it tonight. Casting all your care upon him. Because he cares for you. That's what we're here to do. To cast our cares upon the Lord. What empathy and endearments in that. Casting all your care upon him. Because he cares for you. But there's also honesty in that. Because this verse reminds us that we're going to have cares. We're going to have burdens. And in fact, when it says cast all of them, it's tremendously on us because it's showing us there, there may be times when we'll have a lot of cares, a whole lot of cares and a whole lot of burdens. For the fact that it mentions all your cares, it shows us there might be an awful lot of cares at times. But it says, cast them all on him, the Lord, for he cares for you. You know, there are things that we were never meant to carry. You're not equipped to carry them because you were never meant to carry them. Burdens, tremendous cares that will overwhelm you you were never meant to carry them you were meant to cast them and when you cast them it's an act of faith you're saying lord you're able for this burden lord you're able for this problem but you're also saying lord i'm not able that's why i'm casting them on you cast all your cares on him and by the way we're not told here to cast them away in some sort of neglectful way. It says, cast all your cares on him. We're giving these into the hands of the Lord. And sometimes those cares, by the way, are the most precious thing in the world to us because many of them are to do with our loved ones even. 
And many of the burdens we face are in our family unit. And we don't give them away easily. But it says cast them upon him. And when you commit what you're overly burdened with, when you commit that into the hands of the Lord, you can't commit that to anyone more precious. You can't do anything more precious than that than put them into the hands of the Lord himself. And I just want to read that to you before we come and pray. Because that's what we're going to do with all the names on our list tonight. All the people here that we're praying for. We're going to pray for our church family. We're going to give God thanks for good news. We're going to pray for others who are uh, contacting our church for prayer. Because they know we're a praying people. And they want their names added to our prayer list. And we're going to pray in the name of the Lord for them. We're going to pray for the bereaved tonight who have been recently believed and indeed all bereaved families. We're going to also pray for the lonely and those with mental health issues. We're going to pray for God's work home and abroad. And we're going to pray for our land tonight in a real way. We're going to pray for our loved ones. We're going to pray for the persecuted church. We're going to pray for unspoken requests and we're going to pray for our church this week and in the days to come that the Lord will visit us constantly in a real and powerful way. Let's start with our church family. We're going to pray for those of our church family. Sandra Higgins' friend, Sandra's burdened about her friend. She needs our prayers. Wilbert Lockridge needs our prayers he was out yesterday morning and he needs our prayers just saw that patch upon his eye the bandage on his eye wilbert's been troubled with eye problems and we're praying for wilbert tonight jean's husband freddie needs our prayers lindsay little's awaiting tess karen and david dixon continue to needs our prayers they're not well and they need our prayers Natalie from the Ukraine. Now, she had to go back to Ukraine to search for her son who's gone missing over there. But now we've been told she's back in Northern Ireland again, but still a waiting word. We've got to pray for this need for Natalia from the Ukraine and her son, Andrea, needs our prayers. Susan Kernahan needs our prayers. She's recovering. Bobby Ferguson needs our prayers. Helen Cooper waiting treatment, waiting for that treatment that's absolutely crucial. Helen needs our prayers. Bran and Marion Lawson need our prayers as well continually. Elner Harvey needs our prayers. Harry Newell um, needs our prayers. It was great to see Harry out over Easter. What a joy that was. It was wonderful to see Harry out again. Davy Scott is waiting tests pray for david as well andy houston up there that car home and and cookstown continues to need our prayers aris black has gone through treatment and it's a long road it's many many months but pray for strength for aris norman and evelyn talbot as well are unable to come out to church pray for them that the lord will give them their portion of the blessing um and then marie and mary need our prayers and those who have COVID, alan and phyllis borland of COVID, sandra and robert hamilton david mcculloch has COVID, bertha and her husband they've all COVID, and we're praying for them tonight in the name of the lord jesus let's pray for those of our church family let's bow our heads as we come before the Lord. Lord we come. In your name. The name of might. The name of power. And we pray for one another. Just like what your word says. We pray for one another. We pray for our brothers and sisters. From the people's church. And those associated with them. That they may be healed. You're the God of healing tonight. We remind ourselves of that. You're the God of healing. And Lord, will you heal the names and those people that we have read out just a few minutes ago. 
from Sandra Higgins' friend right down, Lord, to those who have COVID and every name that we have mentioned tonight. Lord, will there be breakthroughs? Lord, will you move even now as we pray? Even now as we call out to you, Lord, while we're praying, will you move? While your people are praying, will you work? And we give you the praise, the honour and all of the glory. Lord, you know the needs tonight. You know the enormity. You know the extent. But your name is higher and your power is greater. Touch these people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And brothers and sisters, we've got to give God thanks for good news. What an Easter weekend we had last weekend. And give the Lord thanks for that tonight. What was lovely was so many people coming back to church again who have been unable to get out. And that's something to rejoice over. God has been answering prayers. So thank him for the good news. Also, people have been responding and coming to the Lord Jesus. And thank the Lord for everyone who's got saved recently here in the People's Church, Newton Abbey. We ought not to take that for granted. The Bible says it's the Lord's doing, but it's marvelous in our eyes. It's his doing, but we're giving him thanks. Also for the response to all the services. People are watching our services far and, and near and they're telling us that they're being blessed and we are so encouraged by that. We give God the glory for that. People who have got out of hospital, Joan Gibson has got out of hospital. Um, Kathy's mom, their mom has got word for treatment and she's going to have or, or for a, a scan it is in fact and it's amazing she's got it so quickly. That is good news. That's an answer to prayer. Give the Lord... Just praise for the families out yesterday for that dedication and, and the response yesterday here and the Lord being with us. Let's just give him thanks for all of these things. And as we say, the people back in our fellowship again from sickness. So let's pray. Let's pray in the name of the Lord by way of thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you for good news. We thank you for those that you've touched. We thank you for... Lord, answers to prayer. We thank you for what we're seeing. We thank you for what you're doing. And Lord, may it continue. And Lord, we're excited by the good news as we pray tonight. Because Lord, people are being moved from, Lord, a, a need, a list of a need on to the good news. And we thank you for that. And we praise you for that. And will you do it again? And will you do it more? But thank you that you're with us. Thank you for the meetings. Thank you for visiting us. Thank you for the people you're, you're bringing. Thank you for the lives you're saving. Thank you for the answers to prayer. And Lord, we say to you, be all the glory. It is your doing, but it's marvelous in our eyes. And we are eternally grateful. And we give you the glory in the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, amen. And you know, people are contacting us for prayer because they know that we pray. We're praying for Pamela tonight. Pamela needs our prayer. Some of these needs are private, but the Lord knows their name. Ken Gray needs our prayers. That's Christine's husband, Ken, and he's been rushing to hospital. And Pastor George was with him on Friday and had a time with him and Christine, but he needs our prayers tonight. Laura and Ryan continue to need our prayers. Kelly, 25 years old, needs our prayers. Deborah McKeown needs our prayers. Sam Crawford as well. John McPherson in hospital. Jean Bryce, Pastor George was praying for Jean yesterday. Had a little relapse, sir. Remember Jean. Kelly is still waiting on results. Pray for Kelly. Phil and Carla need our prayers. Rory Watts, cancer. Touch Rory. David McAteer's dad continues to need our prayers. And Roy Lorimer really needs our prayers. Remember Noreen as well. And Roy. Roy's in hospital at the minute. And he just needs the Lord. Pray for Roy with all of your heart. Come on, let's pray for these needs now. Lord, we come to you. For, for people that many of us don't even know. 
But what we do know is that they're precious to you. And Lord, they believe in prayer because they've asked us to pray. And we're asking you to move, Lord, in hearts and lives. And Lord, if people on this list don't know you, Lord, will you save them? Will you reach them? Will you come alongside? Will you enlighten them? And let them understand that their greatest need is their need of salvation in their soul. But Lord, will you move by your power? Will you heal the sick, Lord? Will you lift them up? People waiting for results, still waiting. Oh, Lord, let there be a good report and let it come soon. Give them what they need as they wait. Your peace, your hope, your presence. May it be their portion. Lord, answer prayers tonight, we ask you. In the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. We're going to also remember all the bereaved families. You know, recent bereavements were praying for the rain and Louise Harper, Ben Stewart. Ben was the rain's dad and Louise's granddad. And he passed away just over a week ago. And the funeral was last week. And Pastor George and I were at the funeral. It was just a special time at that funeral. The people were so lovely. And it was a, a real precious time. But remember the rain tonight in Louise and all the Stuart family. May the Lord lift them up in prayer. And also Bernard McKee's family. That funeral, I think, is coming this week. Pastor George has been asked to take that funeral. Pray the Lord will just be a source of comfort there and what is said at the funeral will bring light and hope and strength as well. We're also praying for the lonely tonight. So often that's intertwined with bereavement and people with mental health issues. Let's pray to that end. Let's bow before the Lord again. Lord, we come to you for those who are in grief. Those who have suffered the loss of a loved one even recently. We think of the McKee family. We think of Ben Stewart's family, Lorraine and Louise. Lord, who are part of our church family here. Lord, be their portion. Lift them up. Strengthen them. Comfort them. And give them your peace and hope, we pray. And we ask, you said you were and are a very present help. In the time of our trouble and our need. Remember all the bereaved families tonight. And Lord remember the lonely. Because the lonely Lord. That sense of loneliness. Never leaves some people Lord. No matter what season they're in. But Lord will you be their companion. And will you be good to them. And will you bring the right people to them. To strengthen them and support them. And Lord bring the lonely into company. And into community. And bless them and encourage them. And Lord, we also pray for those with mental health issues. And we know it's very real today. And, and, and many are suffering in their mind, Lord. But you're the God of the mind as well as other parts of our body. You even told us about loving the Lord our God with all our mind. And Lord, you care about our mind. And for those who are suffering mentally. Oh, by your power will you move there. Where there is darkness, shed your light, Lord. Lord, where there is doom, shed your hope, Lord, and send it there, Father. And Lord, where there's suicidal thoughts and anguish, oh, Lord, lift people. We were trying to say it last night. Lift their heads up, Lord. And we pray for people with mental health issues that you will undertake. People in bereavement. And all of the lonely. Lord, meet the needs tonight, we ask you. In the name of the Lord. Amen. And amen. Brothers and sisters, we've also got to pray for God's work. Because that's the hope of the world at the minute. God working in our world. God working in our communities. God working in our country. God working in every continent. And in every cul-de-sac of the globe. Pray for churches tonight. You know, churches and Christian believers are scattered like salt all over this world. The Lord said, you're the salt of the earth. Pray that churches will do well. Pray that they'll be used in a many way. Pray for church leaders. We read about them at the beginning. Pray that they'll be used to a great extent. Also, 
Pray for the persecuted church tonight. That they will have what they need. That the Lord in a special way by his special grace will be their portion. Pray for provision for the church, for maintenance and mission. Both are important. And pray that the Lord will undertake. And we're going to pray for our country in the middle of this because God needs to work in our country. So let's pray. Lord, it's your work tonight that we're calling on you for. Revive it in the midst of the years. Revive your work, Lord. Come visit us again. Lord, may every church in our land that stands for the gospel of Jesus Christ, Lord, may it do well. May every church, Lord, no matter what denomination, who believes in the eternal truth, that, uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord and the only way to heaven. Lord, may they be in part and may they rise up, lift up the head of church leaders. Lift people up, Lord, who serve you. Christian workers, may your work be revived. We pray for the Lord locally and globally that that will be the case. Remember missionaries tonight across the globe we pray lord that you'll remember those who are serving you in whatever capacity full time or in a lay capacity lord give them what they need to be effective and productive for the kingdom of god we ask you tonight remember the persecuted church again lord be their portion and be all that they need and lord we pray for our land lord will you work in our land we ask you for christians in stormont bring them in there lord it's not political that we're our political argument we have it's spiritual lord we don't want people leading our land who don't know you or anti you or are against you lord we'll never do well if that's the case we ask you for lord give us a daniel we pray that. Give us a Joseph. Give us an Esther, Lord, in, in the corridors of power and influence for your name's sake. Remember your work, Lord. Remember our country tonight. Take away the confusion. Take away the hypocrisy, Lord. Take away, Father, the influence of people who have no time for you. And Lord, lead us again. Visit us again. Protect us tonight and let us do well. And may the gospel do well. May it have free course may churches rise up and may your name be glorified as we pray it and ask it in jesus name amen amen indeed now last but not least we're going to pray for the unspoken request what people carry within sometimes that's the greatest thing and maybe where that verse really hits home the most is inside where it says cast it on the lord for he cares for you. Let's pray for the unspoken requests and our loved ones who don't know the Lord. Lord, we know that people carry many burdens that they can't even tell anyone or share. And that's perhaps the greatest of all burdens. But you see them tonight. You know them. And will you bless them? Will you help them? As with them, they cast it to you. As right now they do it within, Lord. Will you see them doing it? Because you care for them. You care for them. You care for their burden, but you care for them. And Lord, I pray that we'll hear great answers to unspoken requests. We have over the weeks and over the months. And Lord, may we hear it again. Lord, remember our loved ones who don't know you. Lord, we fear for them if we're honest. We fret for them. Lord, we're burdened about them. But Lord, we give them into your hands tonight. We cast them into your eternal hands. We heard about it yesterday, the hands of Jesus that care. Lord, we place our loved ones who don't know you into your hands. Will you work on them? Will you touch them? Lord, will you save them? And may they never be the same. Remember our loved ones tonight. And Lord, the rest of the week for the services on Wednesday night, the Bible study. But every day, Lord, we need you to work. And we ask you that you will. Thank you for being in the services. Thank you for being in our number. Lord, you said to a church, I stand outside and knock. But these prayer times, we're asking you to come in. We're desperate for you to come in. 
And Lord, as we draw to an end in our call to prayer on this Monday night, will you work? Thank you for your people praying. Your word says you're a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. Your people are so faithful praying. Answer their prayers. Give to them the desire of their heart according to your will and purpose. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining us tonight in prayer. Have a great rest of the week. Keep praying. Keep praying for these needs. Keep praying for us. And may the Lord bless you as we pray for you as well. And let's go on with him. We're looking forward to seeing you soon. Remember, we're back for the Bible study on Wednesday night. And may the Lord bless you as you come out for that. We're here if you need us. Just let us know. And we thank you for all your encouragement. The Lord bless you tonight and your faithfulness to him. We are looking forward to seeing you soon. God bless. Mm -hmm.